Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, July 19th, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Ace of Wands. Can you say you are on fire? Oh my goodness. You know, I'm looking at this and I'm like, it's amazing because this week we have three really big things happening that are bringing in a fire energy. Mars will be entering Leo, the Sun will be entering Leo, and there will be a new moon at zero degrees Leo. And you've heard me speak of this in recent days. So this is the perfect card to have. It is very likely that you will feel this energy building. You know, the universe is literally passing you the torch, lighting a fire underneath you, and it's time. Like, it is time. You know, that's one of the things that's hard to sometimes understand and when we're going along in life like you remember the first five months of the year you just no matter what you did felt like you were treading water and couldn't seem to get anything going now's the time to take action it's coming it's here this new moon that's coming up in four more days is a very special new moon it's the first of two in leo so you know and we'll be entering eclipse season as well talk about your divine inspiration you know you may have ideas come to you today keep a pen and paper handy you know that's one of those things that like when you think of something five minutes later if you're me you can't remember what that thing was so write it down because you can't do everything in a day but you may have some viable ideas that you can use further on down the line you might be a little tied up with some other things at the moment that prevent you from doing everything but certainly the creativity factor is here and i think the potential for it is extra high this week okay and it's just the perfect time for new beginnings and for launching things and you want to get them launched by the new moon you know that saying you know speak now or forever hold your peace because i'm saying that like for me i know if i don't do it by the new moon on the 23rd I am likely not going to do it until we hit September the 20th, okay, which is when we'll be clear of all the mercury energy, which tends to skew things a little bit. So keep that in mind. You know, you have things that you're working on now that you can get going now, and you may have some ideas for the future, but like I said, you need to write them down because there's no harm in, you know, tweaking them and working on them in the next couple of months, if you can find the time, because something tells me, like, this is it. Have you listened to my Mars and Leo on Patreon, or, or it's on YouTube as well? A friend of mine said to me, you have to listen to this, because he knows that I don't usually have time to listen to my own stuff. So I was like, really, up really early one morning, and I said, okay, I'm going to see what I have to say. And I realized it's like now we're entering this time frame. This is perfect. The universe is giving you all of that passion and fire that you need to take charge and to make things happen. So here you are. You've gone along those first five months, and then you hit May 22nd, and you said, okay, I am kind of see now what it is I need to do. And in the last couple of months, you've been trying to figure out how to get there, how to get it going. And you've made a couple, you know, little things which you're like, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm proud of myself that I did that. But you know that there's so much more that has to happen. And, you know, an outsider might say to you, well, why is this so difficult? Why is it so hard what you're doing? Just do it. Sometimes the universe doesn't cooperate. Okay, but this is where it begins. The universe is cooperating, it's urging you, it's, you know, telling you, it's giving you the potential. Even the divine inspiration, intervention, whatever word you want to use there, that makes things happen. So I, I urge you to listen to that Mars and Leo because you're going to go, wow, I get it now. All that fire energy coming in is lighting that spark to get things going. And, you know, when you throw in everything else that's coming, yeah, Mercury retrograde does tend to kind of, you know, fog things up a little bit for us. But the potential for change and the winds of change that are coming in in the next eight weeks, 
It's like, here you are, right here, right now. It's kind of like on your mark, get set, go. And you're going to see it at the new moon. Because I'm sitting here looking at the cards that are coming. I'm like, they just don't know it. It's coming. It's coming. And one of the things that I've spoken about in some of my recent videos is that, you know, it starts feeling good in September. The things that have happened, you know, once that energy dies down some from eclipse season and Mercury retrograde and a bunch of other things that are happening in August. So don't miss out listening to them, okay? But when you get like mid-October, you're like, okay, hmm, all right, what comes next? And you're really starting to think, well, this is, this is different. I'm into this new life. And November, you're feeling pretty darn good. You know, I want to say maybe by the third week, and many of you, I think most of you, will experience a turn around Christmas time where you feel like a set of issues, if you want to call them that, that you've been dealing with are, psh, okay, got that out of the way. Let's deal with whatever the universe has coming next. And there will be new issues, obviously, but it's a welcome turn, I think, for many of you to get that far. So, yeah, we're way out there. This is a daily, right? But that's just it. This is a daily that indicates a new beginning. And the desire, the passion, and the creativity that it takes to get there. So I want to thank you all very much for listening. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.